hello it's a boy my lord charles today we have this beautiful image opened in photoshop so we're going to color grade this image and um we're going to apply a very cinematic color grading on this image so if you want to learn how to color grade then stay tuned on this image now the first thing i want to do on this image is to separate the bright areas from the dark areas okay i want to i want to do a kind of um brightness separation in a, in order for us to um have our lights and everything focused on this image so let's say that we'll, we'll, we'll add a bit contrast to the image so the first thing we're going to do is open up um the solid color adjustment layer then go to black and white now here in black and white we're going to change this to the green filter so this is the green filter now you're going to change the um blend mode to soft light now this is the before this is the after this is the before and this is the after now if you go to the blue channel and adjust the lightness of the blue it affects only the color that is blue which is this which is the boat so you can actually adjust the colors of each one now the green you can actually adjust the brightness i mean that's the luminance of the green so i think i love this here the cyan i mean now this is the green you can actually adjust it the way you want so i'm going to keep the green here then the yellows you can decide to pull back or pull up depending on your taste so i think i'll keep this here now the reds you can actually decide to um, do with whatever thing you want to do with it so i'll keep the reds here because i want um I want the light to be more on her face so let's see the overall before and after this is the before and this is the after before after before after so we've actually done a lot on this now the next thing we're going to do we're going to head straight to um our camera raw so Control shift alternate e to create a stamp visible layer and then convert for smart filter go to camera raw shortcut Control shift a so here we are in camera raw now um we'll target the greens we'll go to color mixer we'll target the green i want to um i want to apply um, a kind of desaturated color effect so i'm going to desaturate the greens a bit I'm going to desaturate the green. I love um the greens being this um desaturated. Now the the we're going to pop the um saturation of the orange and the yellow just to affect only her skin. So we're going to add pop. Then we'll desaturate this you can choose to desaturate this if you want to but if you want to keep the original color of of the boat you can actually do um increase the saturation so every other thing um desaturating it so this is the before and this is the after i love it this way now let's close this let's separate the colors of the highlights uh, with the colors of the shadows now we'll go to color grading now this is the mid tones this the shadow any color that you want the shadow to to have you can actually push it so it's always cool to have you know these are complementary blue is opposite of yellow red cyan so these are complementary this is the color wheel it shows the exact um the exact look of a color wheel so it's it's gonna make sense if we come to our shadow to pull in a color like this okay and then come to our highlight now this the color directly opposite this is hitting on the orange side so we come to the highlight and also we can actually push in a bit of colors there so we've pushed in a bit of color now let's see the before this is the before and um 
this is the after the mid tones we can actually decide to keep the mid tones on this level let's keep the mid tones on this level the same almost the same with the highlights but a little bit poppy so this is the before this is the after we have something cinematic already now the next thing we're going to do is we can add um some curves adjustment layer if you want go to our curves we'll go to our curves um this is the red let's let's add let's do the s curve okay bring this down and then take this up a bit okay i'm okay with this i'm okay with this now um you can actually um do the overall s curve on this so let's bring this down a bit and then take this up okay now let's see the before this is the before this is the after i love this now you can actually decide to target the blue if you want now let's do this and this also okay this is the before this is the after you can actually decide to do this now in the case of the blue let me go back in the case of the blue in the case of the blue we can you can actually decide to okay now we are back in the case of the blue you can actually decide to add the blue to the highlights to the shadows i mean and yellow to the highlights since we would want a a warmer tone on on the subject so you can actually decide to do this this way increasing the blue from here okay and then bringing down the yellow so this is um this is an inverted s curve okay so we actually inverted the s curve instead of going the normal s we 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 picked it from the from below so this is an inverted s curve now let's see the before and after this is the overall before and after before and after so we have a pretty much cinematic color grading now the next thing you probably might want to do is if is necessary you can decide to add um like this image is okay all right this image is okay but if you want to add um feathered effect you can do that by coming here by coming to the curves and then pull up the shadows a bit all right pull up the shadows a bit now this is before what it looks like before now watch the feathered effect so we've been able to you know add a sort of a feathered effect on this so now this is the before this is the after you see this is the before this is the after so this is um how you can actually come up with a very cinematic color grading in photoshop it's actually very cinematic and um if you feel like you're done let's save this as a preset so we'll come here we'll come here save settings there's no healing no masking so we can actually save this setting since we don't have healing or masking it's safe to just save the other ones so we can save this as cinematic you can save this as cinematic cinematic colors cinematic colors both one let's just let me add both so i can actually remember cinematic colors both so it's okay cinematic color both so we can save 
now let's um let's hit okay so let's see our overall before and after this is the overall before this is the after this is the before this is the after before after so as you can see we've been able to pull out a very cinematic edit on this image now um let's go ahead and check if we probably can apply that preset now let's turn this off okay i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and create start another stand visible layer Control shift alternate e if you press it and nothing happens come here create an empty layer then hit again Control shift alternate e come to your filter convert for smart filter filter camera raw filter or you use um Control shift a they both work the same way now let's load we'll come here these are the preset i've saved so as you can see these are some of the presets i've uh, i've you know created these are some presets i've used these are some presets i've created as you can see so some cinematic presets already you know faded um really really cinematic so these are some presets i i have created over time now let's look for the cinematic the one i just created the cinematic boat now this is the cinematic boat you can hit ok so let's check out this is the one we we just pulled out from our preset you see this is the one we did before before we saved it it's the same thing you see the both of them are pretty much the same thing as you can see you see the both of them are pretty much the same thing so my friend this is how you can create um a cinematic color grading in photoshop um for the bonox okay i'm going to drop uh, a link in the description for the preset you can have it for free if you ever get to shoot in such an environment or you have a um, pictures like this you feel like you want to target the the um you want to target the greens and you want to have something cinematic like this you can actually um apply this to your image so i'm going to save i'm going to drop a link of the preset for free okay i'm going to drop a link of the press to the preset for free so if you want to have the preset you can actually have it so the first thing we did was create a black and white adjustment where I remember then change it to green filter and then change the blend mode to soft light that was how we got the the first contrast we we had before we moved into camera raw okay so if you want to apply these settings that i i i, I used on this image you can actually go ahead and look at how i you know put up put up all the see the input see the output so you can actually look it up you go to this place hover around here you see the input you see the output the same goes with this and then you can actually open the color mixer to you know see um how i played with the saturations of this and then the color grading you can actually check the you know values and how i did it but i already have the preset ready so i'm going to put the link in the description so you can be able to download the link for free so my friend if you stayed up to this moment it means you must have learned how to do this beautiful color grading now let's see the before and after one more time this is overall before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after before after before after we've been able to create a very cinematic color grading so don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel this is the second color grading tutorial we are doing recently so um i'm going to be dra dropping the third fourth fifth sixth seventh we're going to be dropping a whole lot of cinematic color grading tutorials okay so you're welcome stay tuned don't forget to subscribe you can actually check my instagram and follow up thank you whatever thing you want me to drop a tutorial on you can actually drop the comments in the comment section i'll be right there waiting for you thank you very much